Hi, and welcome to this B1UP tips and tricks session. Today we will look at the dashboard the navigation and more specifically be able to open uh, a dashboard from another dashboard. Uh, this feature requires B1UP 2020.08 or higher. So let's go in and see how it works and how it's made. So I have made a small dashboard here, which is an invoice overview of all of my customers and I have various data in here, top five customers and so on. So this is nice, but I want to have some more information and I want to have navigation. So what I have put in is that I can go to the business partner directly from these by double clicking. Uh, I can either do it over in the top 10, five customers here, simply double click and it will open the business partner or I can click over here and say go to business partner. This is nothing special, uh, it's, it's essentially just including a card code or a card name in the system and it will also detect this uh, based on the field name. But what I have built in here as well is that I want to be able to go in and see, okay, Earthshaker here, they have sold for 1.9 million, but I want to go deeper into that uh, number and see a specific dashboard for Earthshaker Corporation. So what I've done here is again, I can double click and I have once called here, go to customer details. And if I do that, I launch a small sub dashboard that shows only for Earthshaker Corporation, how they have sold over time, what are the top years they sold, and here we have the different invoices uh, one by one. So we know we have 121 that is comprised of the 1.3 million here. And I can there from here also double click and go in and see the invoice uh, in details. So this is what you can do, uh, very, very powerful, but let's see how it's done. So if I go up here, I essentially have two dashboards. One called Invoice Overview, which is the one we see here, and I have another called Invoice Overview Details. So let's first have a look at the Invoice Overview. It is quite simple. In I have a simple SQL statement. I haven't taken into account cancelled uh, invoices and all these things. Of course, you need more advanced uh, and correct SQL in order to do this. And it looks normal, except for I have a special alias here. And this is from our help, where we under the widgets, dashboard navigation, we can go to navigation options. And in here, it will tell you if you use the field name keyword for specific, specific number, for example, card name, it will be able to go to business partners as we saw. And you can do all this, but you can also do more advanced things like, for example, say, have a field name, add, and then uh, UF colon and the UF code, which is what I'm doing here. So I say card name, add UF, UF dash 222. So that essentially means that, let me double click, and when I double click, launch universal function, 222 and send the value of the card code into that universal function so it can use it. So let's have a look at universal function because the rest of this is, is fairly simple. It's just drag and drop as always. And because it's called card name, the automatic navigation to the, the business partner is already happening. So nothing special there. So let's instead have a look at what our invoice details here have. And in here, I'm using parameters. So I have used the doc key parameter here to put in C20,000 just as test. Uh, and in my SQL, I'm using that as a parameter here. We have separate e-learning on how to use parameters, but essentially I'm just saying card code and I'm linking that to the doc key parameter. So I just create a small dashboard here. I'm using a text block in order to get the information about it being the, that specific business partner. 
I'm doing normal things like here, normal things here. And in this case, I'm using in my SQL a special uh, keyword here, again, from the help, saying that if you call your field an AR invoice number, it will be able to go to the invoice. So let's close this and we have put this in and just giving that new name so we don't need to see those special names, just aliases for the data. So as I mentioned, we have a universal function and that universal function was UF222. And essentially that what that does, it just launches another dashboard and that dashboard is the invoice overview details. And as the doc key, I'm using this special keyword. Again, this is documented in here, that when you do this, you can use this keyword in order to get your value either as a string or as a number. So you can send it along to the system. So I'm just putting that into keyword, which will pick it up and show it for the right response. I'm just showing the dashboard here as an internal viewer. So essentially when I double click, yes, I have two options. I can either go to business partner. That's because of this column where I just say card name behind the scenes. And the other one is based on the number here, which I can then go to customer details. It will send along C40,000 into this, use this as a parameter and show data that only exist for C40,000. Uh, so you can imagine you can do a lot of things. You could also have this one double click and go even further in so you can drill down in all kinds of ways. The dashboard have it drilled down by themselves, but if you want to actually get from one dashboard to another, it is also possible like this. So very, very powerful stuff to do here. Uh, and you can really, really get into details if you want to. So I hope it was inspiring and see you in the next one.